it's my great pleasure to give a talk in this uh, nice summer school, and uh, I'm very happy to be able to attend this summer school in person. So today, I'd like to discuss some arithmetic invariant arising from geometry. So first, I give I fix some notation. So let f be a finite extension. over QP or FP double bracket T. And let X be an S scheme where S is a spec OOF. That is uh, that is regular and the structure map is uh, flat and of finite type and uh, of relative dimension d. And we include the isolated singular point, that is, I write x. So this is a close point. Close point over the close point of s. That's that. X is smooth over uh, outside this point. For simplicity, uh, in the introduction, I assume that this X is uh, a rational point, so the X is as smooth to the cross point of S. But this is for simplicity. We can get this situation after taking an unrified equation. Then we have, uh, under this assumption, we have a vanishing cycle complex supported at point X. This is That x. And this is a complex. Ah, oh, sorry. It, it is. It is. Take it to prime two. Prime two p. This is a complex of LAD representation of the absolute color group of it. To such a color representation. We consider two invariants. The one is the total dimension. So this is an integer, and the, the total dimension is the sum of the usual dimension and so on. The second one is a local epsilon factor. Uh, I write. Like this. So I, I'm following the notation due to Doreen for the local compactor. So, where phi is a non trivial additive character and mu is a half measure. Uh, <laughs> We have psi. Yeah. Ah, dt. So total dimension. Do you sum all the dimensions? Ah, uh, uh, alternating sum. Alternating sum. Over the alternating. Ah, yes. Thanks. So, psi is a non trivial character. So, and uh, we always assume that this psi is of uh, order zero. So this means that this psi factors, factors through f over OF, but not f over the inverse of the maximum ideal. 
and mu is a hard measure on f, and uh, our mu is always normalized by the following condition. The volume of the ring of integers is always 1. We consider such invariants, and uh, for the total dimension, uh, there is a conjecture, so-called Milner formula, that describes this total dimension in terms of uh, some uh, coherency. So, to do this, I need to introduce another notation. This is a team theory. Singular locus. So this is a closed subscheme defined by the, the annihilator. Of this module. As I said, as I said, this is supported F. Then mean a formula is that. The total dimension is equal to uh, the following. Where L means the length as an OF module. And today, I'd like to discuss similar conjecture uh, for the local repetition factor. But mainly assuming that P is odd. But before going into detail, uh, let me explain how, how interesting this local factor, in spite of its slightly heavy notation. I don't, ex I don't say anything about the dimension of the vanishing cycles. Instead of that, I say something about this local constant. This local epsilon factor of the vanishing cycles naturally appear when we consider the has to be a zeta function. So it might be a regular proper, probably this is well known to specialist, regular proper path scheme over the integer. And uh, I write lambda, I write. Lambda for the completed has to be zeta. So this is the product of the has to be zeta function of i times some gamma factor. Then, under some conjectures on uh, global Langland correspondence, it is expected that this function can be extended to meromorphically to a uh, com the complex whole plane and satisfy the functional equation. Of the following form. Uh, where these relative dimension. Then, yeah, so, La a global Langlands correspondence and some local global compatibility implies that A should be the product of uh, local epsilon factor of the vanishing cycle complex. Together with some other local factor, but this, this comes coming, coming from from Hodge structure of the genetic fiber.
So when the singular locus of i is isolated, then this local epsilon factor is uh, the product of a uh, local epsilon factor under consideration. And yes, in this way, so the, this local epsilon factor naturally appears. And today, I'd like to investigate some uh, relation between this local epsilon factor and degeneration of the uh, geometry. So more precisely, I, I construct some quadratic form on some invertible OZ module. And uh, I give a conjecture that describes that local epsilon factor in terms of the quadratic, quadratic form. But this OZ may not be a, a vector space of a field, then probably the notion of a quadratic form of a, such a module may not, so, may not be so common. So first I explain the, what I mean by quadratic form on such module. I, I can find it. Form. So we keep f and psi, and p can be two. So let m be a OS module of finite length. Then a uh, mapping and to f over o f is a quadratic form. If the following two conditions hold, as one is u uh, and m, with a squared u m. Or any OF and any M. Yes, and secondly, the this well, usual, what to say, my pin is bilinear. I also say that this is a non-degenerate quadratic form if this pairing is perfect. Then, so I can associate the uh, quadratic Gaussian with such a non degenerate quadratic form. So let Q be a non degenerate quadratic form on M. Then we define tau psi Q to be the following. And this has a, so this is about some, this has a expected property that this is equal to uh, the square root of the cardinality up to root of infinity. So we use this notion of Gaussian for our result.
Okay, now I start construction of quadratic form. So for the construction, uh, I recall some useful facts. The following is p fact. Zelsky locally on x takes a resolution. Where such that this is locally free, uh, OX locally free, locally free OX module of rank D plus one, and L is locally free, uh, invertible OX module. I give some examples. But uh, it is known that the SK locally, X can be realized as a regular divisor of smooth skin, the P, P, P is smooth skin, and the, the imagine is codimension. Then, if one has a, such a close imagination, then we can take L to be the normal one module, and is the omega one of P. In the geometric case, uh, where f is positive characteristic, then we have a more numerical choice. So we can take uh, L to be the okay, or XPP and it is. Uh, uh, the theoretic compression of the differential model. In the geometric case, we have such nice, nice resolution, uh, some mechanical resolution, but in the mixed characteristic case, we don't have such things, so we need to make a choice, but we can, uh, we can make a choice. So we, uh, we focus on a single singular point, so we can show x around the point, so we may assume that such a resolution exists. Sorry? Uh, x is over OF. So just a small remark, you take the other completion in the blackboard, but in fact you don't need it because uh, you, you, the, the ring of integers already is finite over the fifth powers in the equal in this case. So the, differ the usual differentials is already good without completion. Mm -hmm. oh. It's a coherent sheet. The differentials just absolutely. Oh, okay. You, because I don't you want, want to risk locally, so you don't need any completion in this. Okay, thank you. Mm. I, thank you.
Oh, je m'en... Then the so we take one such resolution, then the singular locus is finite, implies that the following possible complex Is exact where this is defined by uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, da, da, da. is exact and so as a consequence, this is invertible. OZ module. This is this is useful in uh, construction of the quadratic form. So now I start the construction and I give the names for two morphisms. This is F and this is F. I write P for this. First I consider I lower shrink. Ah uh, sorry, I lower star and the shrink of OS shifted by one. Yes, Th and this one is currently I think to Ah, uh, no, uh, I, I, I'm going to construct it. Yes, not yet. Sorry for my bad explanation. Where Omega is the determinant. Right, and uh, here. It's nothing but the compatibility of the upstream product. Then I use this long exact sequence. So this is an invertible OG module, so and uh, so uh, This exact sequence tensor with the inverse of the highest, highest exterior power gives a resolution of locally free resolution of I row of Z. And using this fact, We can proceed that this, ah, we can put this long local inferior resolution into this part, and uh, we have uh, <laughs> this size mode where LZ is. Uh, Each one of uh, this one, and uh, so we take uh, 
uh, we take a resolution of this one, then this is just a yeah, the full part of L. Yeah, so to obtain a description of this, this one, I need to take some actually choice of resolution, but the map from here to here is canonical in the sense that this does not depend on the choice of the resolution because this isomorphism is a factorial. But to get this one, to get an isomorphism, I need to make a choice. And uh, yes, this is the key isomorphism. And uh, the next task is find a, find a good trivialization of LZ. Then I can construct a quadratic form as follows. Uh, I will explain how to take this one later. First, consider this uh, OF module of finite length. Then, using alpha, I uh, identify this one with this one. Then using that isomorphism, this one is isomorphic, canonical isomorphic to this one. Okay. And we have a trace map to OS shifted by one. Uh, because G is finite. And this complex fits into the following triangle, distinguished triangle. But, but this module is uh, at the MF torsion module. Whereas F is, uh, whereas uh, uniformizer is invertible on F. So the composite map factors through this F over OF. And uh, moreover, this, this one is unique because, because the same reason. So, so, the, so we have F. And uh, ah, yes, yes, yes. and so sorry, I I add. Mm. Finally, I consider map that sends x to minus one over two x inside. So we need this factor. So I, I don't know the reason why I need this one, but uh, this is necessary to, to get a correct conjecture. And uh, I call, the, uh, I write Q alpha for this map. And this is non-degenerate 
quadratic form in our sense. Okay. You know, then I explain. Uh, which alpha I take. So the key input is pathocytos isomorphism. They show that Lz tensors with OZ reduced is canonically isomorphic to this. Uh, module tensor so I don't explain the, how to construct this isomorphism, but instead of that, I give some example. So I, I think it is better, uh, yeah, example is better to get some feeling. So when F is positive characteristic, then we have a canonical characteristic, and LZ is isomorphic to OZDT. Then we have a canonical map. Sending an informizer to DT. And uh, they, what they construct is some mixed characteristic analog of this isomorphism. Oh. So, using the result, so we need actually choices. Choose a informizer. Mm. I and then we choose a lift lift of the isomorphism that is given by this informizer. Uh, Ah, the, uh, I take alpha to be such, to be such a one leaf. So this choice of alpha is not elegant, but what I can say is that associated the sum is only only depends on the informizer. Hmm. Then now I can give you the conjecture. So suppose P is not two. Then this one is equal to the following.
Oh, sorry, then I need to explain what this is. This is also, this is the quadratic. And uh, so this is widely open, but uh, I verified that this is true. When uh, x is a non degenerate quadratic singularity, or when F is of positive characteristic. And finally, when X is a finite extension, Y is a finite separable extension. And in the last minutes, I, I'd like to explain uh, some sketch of proof of some of these three. Yeah. Right. Mm. Ah, yes. Yes. Thank you. I think I, so the first case is the easiest one. So because <laughs> mm. so there is a how to say explicit description of non-degenerate uh, or the hensorization of non-degenerate quadratic singular point. So using that explicit description, we can compute explicitly. So this is direct computation. Ah, much easier because we don't need that much. Sorry, I forgot the name. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the computation of the vanishing cycles given in SGA7. So I start uh, proof of two. The idea is to deform our initial isolated singular point to the case of one by considering A family and uh, in so the constant family, so we consider the plane diagram. Where is 
normal and connect it and find it right over okay what is here is a busy field of f and the x is smooth And uh, F tilde is smooth outside. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. X is smooth over T and, uh, and Z is a singular locus over F tilde. That is assumed finite over T. So taking uh, so taking a fiber over a point of P, we get the sequence of morphisms and the uh, ZT also finitely many isolated singular points of F T tilde. So in this sense, I call this diagram as a family of Family of isolated singularity. And then taking small t, then we have a finitely many singular points, and we have a um, set of the vanishing cycle is complex. The key input for our group is Continuity of the local distance factor from where local distance factor. So I talked about this several times, so let me do that again. So the theorem is so there is a continuous character. Of the, of the abelianization of pi 1 of t. That sends the geometric provenience element at t to the product of the local action factor. It is this is it is is the total sum of total limit Then the, how to do this theorem? So, uh, so we we take we take a family such that this initial singular point is contained in it.
and uh, it's generic. Singular points are non degenerate quadratic. Then we reduce, we can reduce. this general case to the case one by totality and C theorem. Okay, then I explain the case three. Hmm? Case three. So, find it. Separate extension. In this case, the Marijin cycle is complex. Is Familiar representation. This is the induced representation of the trivial one. Modulo it's an unramified part. And in this, fortunately, in this case, the construction of in the construction of quadratic forms, we don't need any choice because we make many choices. To, to trivialize some invertible shift, but the invertible shift that we must trivialize is already trivial in this case because this is zero. Then Q alpha is isomorphic to the following one. Uh, This. And uh, the conjecture is equivalent to the following formula. Uh, Actually, uh, there was a previous work that described this local this local epsilon factor when when p is odd when p is odd. So due to NR and and cyto, and uh, we can check that their formula. Uh, this formula is equivalent to or follows from their formula. But uh, in their formula, we need some um, division into cases, but we don't need it in this form. And another good point 
of this reformulation is that in this form, I managed to find the similar formula when P is 2. So I explain that case. Next is over Q2. So when P is 2, this map, we cannot consider this map because this is not well defined. Instead of that, we consider the following map. So I enlarge the module so that the map is well defined. This is very defined and non generate for the form. Then the local epsilon factor is. In this case, it's equal to the following. We need the denominator because I enlarged the module, so this is necessary to get the correct absolute value. And some extra factor. Where xi is by this one, and <laughs> what is by so by is a unique element in. In this module, I that phi is phi phi is phi this one for, for any phi. So the proof is a combination of some very classical global result. Proof is first result with the well known factor that the sign in the functional equation of the Zikinto zeta zeta function is always equal to 1. The other one is phase with plus p rho, with pro p rho for quadratic person or so called value indi indices. Then we can reduce to the case where f is over qp, where p is odd. Or over r. So I have not explained the Archimedean case, but this is much e easier. So and uh, this case is already uh, proved somewhere. So 
I still have time, so I, some, I say something that is skipped. I explained that the conjecture is true when uh, in the geometric case, but we're assuming that P is odd, but in the geometric case, I have a similar result when even P is two. So, but I cannot explain in detail when P is two. But large well, x is a regular, uh, is as before, and small x is an isolated single point. So for such isolated single point, I can associate some invariant, which I call alpha invariant. This is the element of k modulo k k, where k is x, the other thing is map. So, uh, due to the lack of time, I cannot explain how to construct this one, but I just say, let me just say, this is a characteristic analog of the discriminant. Alpha. This discriminant is usually lives in the multiplicative group, but uh, here we get something in this additive group. So using this alpha invariant, we can say the following. This is already not available. But this question number is an integer, and the local position factor divided by. M. This is a sign. Oh, and Q is the cardinality of K. And uh, this is one if and only if the alpha invariant is trivial. Running out. I'm running out of time, so yeah, I stop here. Thank you. So, are there any? So, thank you very much for this beautiful lecture. And are there any questions first here in Lumini? So, you, you completed the uh, the Ipsilon factor uh, for, for finite extension, extension and you related it to the trace of squares. So this Ipsilon factor must be related to the Hasse inv invariant of this trace of squares. You mean, sorry. So you have a quadratic form, trace defined quadratic form, so you, you, you can define Hasse invariant of this quadratic Quadratic mm -hmm. form, so, so this 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 gives 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 you a sign. Mm -hmm. So can can you direct, directly relate this sign to this uh, Gauss sum? 
Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. This is essentially done by Bayu. Bayu, Bayu himself. Oh, uh, I see. Thank in you. the context of Bayu index. Thank you. Are there any other questions? No? So maybe uh, Amadine uh, on Zoom. Go, fair, go, go ahead. So uh, I think, so you didn't explain about the this product formula that you need when you have a parameter scheme T, uh, you said that uh, you have a situation parameterized by T with singular locus finite over T, and then you want that uh, you the, the epsilon factors for the closed point give a, a, a character of pi one T. So, uh, and also you need, I think, a, a similar formula for the expected value, but uh, so do you, how do you prove this? Is it somehow relating it to some global determinant of cohomology or something like this? Uh, Sorry, uh, what do you mean by global determinant? Sorry. No, no, okay. so you, to, to prove the, that there is a representation of pi 1t, hmm? a character of pi 1t that gives the, the at each close point the uh, product of epsilon factors with certain signs. You 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 uh, you uh, you wrote this effect on the black on, is one of the steps in the proof. So is it? Uh, uh, can you explain why? So this is a theorem. There exists one of the theorems that for Benius T goes to the product of local epsilon factors. Yes. So so how how do you prove it? Is it by Ah, on, on the proof of the continuity. A, a, a representation. So the only way I see to construct a, a something like this is saying that that you have, a, let us say, action on the some shear, Aquan shear that can come from, let us say, determinant of cohomology. Or Sorry, yeah, so you, you, your question is about the proof of the continuity of yes. the local. Ah. So, so yeah, I skip. I skipped everything. But So I use some, uh, actually, I can construct more refined object. Um, mm, let's say so. So we are considering such family, but then we get, I, oh, sorry. <laughs> On some oriented product. And this is a kind of a family of, of lo local Fourier transform of the vanishing cycles. And uh, I can prove this. This is locally con uh, smooth shape. This is smooth. I can prove it. This is, uh, okay. yeah. And uh, yes, and then taking the determinant of this smooth complex, then, and uh, by the Lomo's homological formula, the continuity of the local vision factor can be proved. Okay, thank you. Okay. So thank you very much. So maybe let's thank the speaker again and